Hey, what's going up you guys? Uh, I just want to make a quick video because I had a lot of questions regarding one of the gifts that I recommended for French horn players for Christmas. And that was the <sighs> Kelly mouthpieces. Uh, so these are plastic mouthpieces. Put them, put them up to the screen. These are plastic mouthpieces. Um, this is the less deep cup. And the, ooh, wah, not my face. Oh, it's stuck there. Uh, so this, and then this one's the deep cup, and it's also clear, you can tell by the two that this one's not clear and this one's clear. Um, so these are the mouthpieces, and the reason I was so interested in them is because they're only $25, which, if you've ever looked at a French horn mouthpiece, they start at $50 for like the cheap ones that you, like the generic cheap ones that you can get at any music store, and they can go right up to like 300 bucks. And so I figured I'd give these a try, just like the Wessex horns that I've tried. Uh, I just want to give these a try because you guys are always asking for budget-friendly alternatives to French horn gear because if you're students, you can't really afford that like $300 mouthpiece. So I wanted to give these a try. And to be honest, I wasn't I wasn't too hopeful when I first ordered it because I thought, I mean, it's a $25 plastic mouthpiece. How good can it be? Because you always, when I was growing up, plastic mouthpieces were played by like the marching bands in winter because it would not stick, so I just thought that's what they're only used. But when I ordered these, I started playing it and it felt exactly like the mouthpiece I currently have because I ordered the uh, I ordered this one, which the deep cup, which had a similar cup to what I was already playing, and the width was already very similar to what I was already playing as well. So it was a very simple transition. And then the other holdup that I had was about tone and metal versus the plastic. And honestly, I, I haven't noticed any crazy tone differences. If anything, it's a bit uh, softer, so less less brassy, but that could just be the way I'm playing at the moment as well. Uh, and by less brassy, I just mean it's a bit warmer, which is kind of what I like anyways, a bit rounder and a bit warmer tone. So all in all, I'm incredibly happy with these uh, Kelly mouthpieces that are only $25. Uh, so I highly suggest that you do go out and get them. I believe that's all the questions. So people are asking about tone, uh, they're perfect for allergies because they are plastic, so you won't be allergic to them in any, like if you're allergic to any metals or any material whatsoever, um, unless you're allergic to plastic for some reason, um, these would be great. Uh, what other questions I have? I'm not paid by them. Uh, that was another question. I'm not paid to recommend these. I bought both of these. I bought this one off of a friend and then I bought this one myself, which they're both great mouthpieces. Um, I believe on the site it says the deep cup one is better for high notes. Um, my opinion on that is always the same. Like if you're good at high notes, no matter what you play, is gonna you're still gonna be good at high notes. And if you're not good at high notes, you just need to practice a little bit more, and then you'll get good at high notes. Um, these, this, I did say in the video that it does help high notes pop out, and then that stands as if um, if you're already good at if you already know how to play high notes, it'll make it that much more fun to play. Um, yeah, so that's about it. So then another follow up from the video is. It got a lot of it got a lot more attention than the recent horn cover that I posted, which if you haven't seen, you should definitely go see. Um, so I just want to ask if you guys like when I give you horn advice and or horn product suggestions, if you prefer that more often than covers because they take a lot less time. Like I'm recording this, probably take 10 minutes, edit, everything like that. And then horn covers take weeks because you got to write them, film them. So yeah. Let me know in the comments which you prefer. I'm sure if you could, you'd prefer both. So I'm, pro I'm always gonna do both. But I figured I'd just ask if you prefer these a lot better, then I might as well start doing more of these talking and telling you or suggesting things to you. Um, playing tips, I can start out. I'm gonna do a review on that Wessex Triple. And yeah, okay. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.